Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about dynamic arrays. The agenda of this video is what is dynamic array, internal working of dynamic array, and we will see the time complexity of dynamic array operations. So first, let's see why we need dynamic arrays. We have already discussed that arrays are fixed in size, and the size of the array must be provided during initialization of the array itself. So how do we initialize the array? In case of Java, we will give syntax as int array equal to new int, and we will provide the size of the array. For example, ten. The biggest disadvantage is that what if we want to store more than ten elements? Maybe to avoid this kind of situation, we can declare an array with bigger size. Over the time, let's assume that only twenty elements are occupied. So we have inserted only twenty elements, but we have initialized array with very bigger value like two k. So twenty is much much lesser than two k. So this case waste of space. Suppose if you are declaring array with bigger space, then it will there will be waste of space. So if we try to avoid this situation, we are arriving into waste of space. So we need some data structure which can allow us to grow in size when it is needed, and at the same time we need to shrink the size when we are sure that we don't need any extra space at all. So dynamic arrays is. one such data structure which can grow and shrink in memory whenever it is required so what is dynamic array first of all it is an array with some improvement that improvement is either it will grow or shrink in size whenever it is required so this is also known as this is also called automatic resizing so the definition of dynamic array is it is an array whose size changes over time most of the programming languages already have the support of dynamic arrays so in case of java it is array list in python it is list and in case of c++ it is vector now let's see how dynamic arrays works internally by using its operation so before proceeding this first we need to understand how to initialize the dynamic array so dynamic array initialization is exactly same as how we initialize the array so so in case of java how do we initialize just we will Give int array equal to, and we have to provide the size. Let's assume that ten. So, for example, we are giving ten. So, whenever we want to initialize the array, first we have to even for dynamic array, we have to give some size. So, here we need to understand two terms. One is capacity, and the second one is size. So, when I have initialized this array, it means that. it is occupying 10 contiguous memory locations means my array can hold maximum 10 elements in it so this is called capacity so what is capacity size of size of the dynamically allocated array but i haven't inserted any values into it let's assume that only i have inserted two elements 1 20 so total how many elements i have inserted so far two so this is called size of the array so number of elements currently present in the array so now let's start with some operation so for simplicity i am just uh, initializing array with uh, size as 1 so first of this array is 1 and size is 0 now i want to insert 1 so because there are no elements present and then all size is still array is not full so i can directly insert the element into array right so what is the size now so capacity i will mention it as c and then size i'll mention it as 1 so again size now size became from 0 to 1 because one element present in the array now i want to insert 2 if you notice it array is already full because my capacity and size has become same then what we have to do we have to recreate an array so so my array name i am mention i am using it as array so this is my array here also this is my array okay so i am just recreating new array just like temp so this is my temp array whose capacity is double of the current capacity so 2 star 1 which is equal to 2 and size is still 1 only currently okay 
once i create a newly created array the elements which are in the which are currently present in the array i will just copy over to the new array so i just inserted one into it now i have some i have space available for inserting two right so now i will insert two so this array now we will point to the newly created array so this way we are growing the size whenever we want it so now let's let's see some more operations now next i want to insert three again okay here size became so size has been updated to two again array is full so when our array is full whenever capacity equal to size insert three again our array is full so what we have to do we have to create array with double the capacity so i have created array which can store now four values so again this is my temporary array i just copy the elements from this array into this so one comma two so now i have enough space to insert my new element which is three so it became three so what is the capacity now so capacity is four and then size became three so now insert four next element so whenever we create new array with double the capacity we have to copy over the elements from old array to old array to new array and we have to update our array reference to the newly created array so this is what we will do in dynamic arrays so insert four so we have enough space right so because size is three and capacity is four means array is not full we have enough space so directly we can insert into the array again my capacity still same only and my size again change to 4 now so now i want to insert 5 again if you see my array is full then what i have to do i have to create new array with double the capacity which is 8 so i will just create an array which can store maximum 8 elements so i have created new array now i have to copy elements from old array to the actual array to the new array so i'm just copied from this array to this array and then i can insert my new value which is 5 okay now capacity has changed from 4 to 8 and size now has been increased to 5 so insert 6 7 8 so there is no issue because the array size is uh, still has three three more elements we can add it so at the end of inserting element 8 how the array looks like now i want to insert 9 so again here again array is full and we want to insert new element means there is no space left in the current array so again we have to create new array which is double the size of the current capacity so what is the current capacity 8 so we will create array which can store maximum of 16 values and then size will become after inserting 9 the size of the array becomes 9 right so this way array will grow whenever it is required now let's write algorithm for add operation so what are the variables we have been used so far size capacity and array array is the our dynamic array which we are going to use it so size is currently 0 capacity is 1 and then so these are the initial uh, values and array can hold maximum one value so Uh, in case of java how we have given new int 1 okay so now let's write the algorithm so first thing is what we have to check already array is full or not so we are checking using if size equal to capacity so if size equal to capacity what we have to do we have to create new array so i'm just providing the java syntax here so temp equal to new int and we have to give double the capacity right it means that we have created double the capacity contiguous memory locations in memory double the current capacity something like this okay now then what we have to do we have to copy the elements of array into the newly created array so what we have to do for i from 0 to how many elements are there so far what we are using size minus 1 right so total size elements are there so index will start from 0 to size minus 1 so for i equal to 0 to size minus 1 just copy elements into the 
newly created array which is temp so how we will write in temp i equal to array i so once copying is over this this is going to become our actual array so means we have to update the reference how do we update array equal to temp so what is the new capacity now capacity equal to 2 star capacity so this is where we are going to increment the size and then finally we have to add the element into the specific location means end of the array so that end of the array how we can achieve it just by using size only so new element how do we add array size equal to whatever the element we want to add so add element so just we will mention it as ELE here so I will just here give it as ELE so now my size has been my size has to be updated to size equal to size plus one so this is how add operation works in uh, dynamic arrays so everything is same just this is the extra part we are doing which is resizing the array so this is the only part we are we have to take care in case of dynamic arrays talk about the time complexity so suppose if you want to insert an element into the array at the end of the array it's just order of one but in case of dynamic arrays it is not straightforward because we are doing some extra operations also we are checking whether array is full or not and then we are performing these operations then only we are inserting element into the array so this extra operation need some extra time right so let's understand how exactly it is happening so initially our array is just capacity as one only so insert one so when i want to insert one already we have the enough space right so i just insert one means what is the cost involved here so time cost is one next i want to insert two so when i want to insert two i have to create new array right so i have created new array and i have to copy all the elements from this array into the newly created array so how many elements are there only one element is there and then newly new in element i have to insert which is two mean one plus one next i want to insert three so when i want to insert three again array is full so how to create array of size 4 right and I have to copy these elements into this array means how many elements I am doing 2 elements right so inserting new always one only and plus extra extra cost is for copying the elements into the new array which is 2 so for 4 there is no issue right so this is 3 and then 4 already we have the array so just already we have enough space in the array just order of 1 so for 5 again I have to create whole array means so 4 is also there means 4 elements I have to copy so 1 plus 4 so 6 7 8 again same way if you notice it for 9 1 plus how many elements we have to copy total 8 elements we have to call copy right so 8 how many how many elements we are considering n elements right so means 1 plus if you notice this is 2 power 0 this is 2 power 1 this is 2 square only this i'm talking so this is 2 q means it will be some 2 power k right so 2 power k suppose if we see 2 power k equal to n then k equal to log n base 2 so total 1 uh, for n element 1 plus 2 power log n base 2 so total cost for adding n elements will be so all these things sum up, up to n right so n plus and then we are adding these things so whenever we are doing it so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 square 2 cube like that right so this is like 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus and so on plus 2 power log n base 2 right so if you notice this is in geometric progression and which is equivalent to is equivalent to n minus 1 so n plus n minus 1 so this is for n elements then what is the cost for inserting one element n plus n minus 1 divided by n right so which is equal to 2n which is equivalent to 2n divided by n which is equivalent to 2 so which is again order of 1 only constant time complex so this is how we are achieving constant time complexity for adding uh, element into the dynamic array like arrays so in similar way even delete also takes order of one only uh, like amortized time complexity again comes to the order of one 
So this is how we are achieving constant time complexity even in case of dynamic arrays. So for in, uh, inside not removing the element in dynamic arrays. So in this video we have only seen how add operation happens and at the same time we have seen how the array is growing in size right so if we have not performed any delete operation so in next video we'll write algorithm for delete operation and then we will write code implementation in java for both add and delete operation using how exactly resizing happens so thank you for watching stay tuned